this video we will start with a truly unique yarn. It is actually made in Japan, uh, not in Italy, like we typically have. In the composition there is 50% cashmere wool, 25% merino wool and 25% silk. The quality of the yarn is amazing. It is extremely soft and also the silk gives a little bit lustrous feeling and uh, the silky effect. And the thickness also is great, uh, this sample is knitted on a 5th class knitting machine and if you would knit on the needles then the needle size would be around 3.25 and here you can see in a close-up how the actual thread uh, looks like and next we will show you uh, some ideas how you can combine them and here you can also see some pictures uh, yes the yarn is different but the idea is uh, how you can combine and make it more contrast and make details from other yarns and for example, even here you can see that you can mix it with the yarn with the sequins. Next we will continue with different type of alpaca wool yarns. And uh, let's start with Boucle yarn. So in a composition there is mainly alpaca wool, also there is merino wool and a little bit polyamide and the needle size is around four and a half. By the quality this yarn is super soft. The plus for this yarn is that after washing it does not change too much except it becomes softer of course because sometimes boucle yarns tend to become a little bit looser and they lose their shape a little bit but this one no this one is great. You can make some beautiful jackets, some beautiful coats and sweaters of course and scarves. Next, we will continue with composition 70% alpaca wool and 30% merino wool uh, from Zeni Barufa. And for this composition, we have multiple colors. This first one is beautiful green color. And uh, if we talk about alpaca wool, I can say that this fiber is considered premium due to being light, fine and warm. Actually, it is very hard to find 100% alpaca wool. Typically, it will be combined with other yarns. It can be uh, merino wool, like in this case, it can be uh, silk, uh, then it can be cashmere wool. That is to improve the softness and to make it more uh, luxury. And regarding the characteristics, it is uh, quite lightweight and very airy. It is very durable. It retains warmth. It is breathable and moisture wicking. And of course, as I said earlier, also a very warm. Here for this particular yarn, you can see that uh, it actually does have alpaca texture, even though there is 30% of merino wool. You can see that it does have a little bit more hair and it is a little bit more fluffier than other wools. And this yarn we knitted in two threads and the needle size in two threads would be around 3.25. And here is a great example how you can also combine yarns. Uh, these two are alpaca yarns and by meters they also match just perfectly. And next we will continue with uh, composition 85% of alpaca wool and 15% of wool. Here by the texture you can see that uh, it is definitely alpaca wool, it does have a little bit more hair and fluffiness. And this sample we knitted in, in three threads uh, since it is a little bit thinner than the previous one and in these three threads it would be needle size around three. From alpaca yarn you can make any type of knitwears, of course sweaters, uh, scarves, hats, cardigans, you can knit uh, socks as well, you can combine with other different yarns.
and let's continue with mohair yarns uh, it is article queen which mainly consists of uh, mohair uh, also merino wool a little bit cashmere a little bit polyamide and for this dark blue color it also has black lurex but this lurex it does have really interesting texture and this blue color it is very typical queen without any sequins without any lurex and same for this mint green color And this is quite classical composition, which is 70% super fine kid mohair and 30% silk. And this one is from Cecia. The quality is truly great. Uh, it is very silky. It has very beautiful fluff. And in this blue color, we got 70% uh, extra fine merino wool and 30% silk. And here we can definitely see that the silk is there, uh, but by the quality, it will be very, very soft as a merino wool and in this pink color also it is uh, merino wool with uh, silk this one is from Laura Piana and the percentage is a little bit uh, different but still the quality is uh, just amazing and here we got 100% extra fine merino wool and the color is beautiful sky blue color And this is beautiful beige color and uh, both of these colors they are uh, non-combed merino wool which means that after washing it opens up quite a lot and let's continue with another new article it is 70% uh, merino wool 15% angora and 15% polyamide and it is from Zenia Berufa. So we have multiple different colors and they are all multicolor. By the quality, you can definitely feel both merino wool and also angora. Angora will give this little bit smoother effect. And this yarn will be great for any kind of knitwear, including socks. Here is another great option how you can combine two completely different yarns. It is Alpac Boucle yarn that we showed uh, earlier in this uh, video. And here we got another Boucle yarn and this one is quite thin. It is uh, mainly cashmere wool, uh, also silk and merino. And it is from Filati Biagioli Modesto. But here you can see the sample also in two threads and in two threads the needle size would be around three. And let's continue with the 100% baby cashmere wool, which is the softest of cashmere wool that there exists. They're all from Little Piano and uh, the quality is truly great. It is very soft after washing it opens up a lot. And from this yarn you can definitely knit uh, anything, uh, including uh, sweaters, same cardigans, trousers, uh, skirts, hats, scarves, truly anything.
And here we got also multiple colors for uh, composition, 70% cashmere wool and 30% uh, silk, article Jaipur, and they are all multicolor. Mm -hmm.